All right, so step one, grab a body uh, trim tool, and we're gonna go through and pull all the clips out so that we can then get the front area ready to pull the latch and the rest of the grill assembly. So first step, pull the clips. You just take these things and pop them out, and you're gonna wanna set these aside because we're gonna reuse all the old hardware that we pull off as we're installing the new grill. The next step is gonna be to pull the hood latch assembly out of the way. This is really not required, but it's gonna make it a lot easier to get into the parts where we're working. So just grab your basic socket set. I think these are 10 millimeters. We're gonna line these up and pull them off of there. All right, now I've got the hood latch assembly disconnected. There may be some electrical harnesses down here. If there are, just go ahead and disconnect them. So the next step is gonna to be to pull the grill assembly off and go ahead and get it out of the way. A couple of things to note, these are all 10 millimeter nuts on the top. If you take all those pieces of hardware out, it's still clipped at the bottom, so we'll wanna lean it back and then I can show you how we're actually gonna disconnect it. So anyway, take these bolts out first. The grill's held in there by a couple of clips at the bottom, so we're gonna pull the front piece away and as we do this, it's gonna unclip from the sides. So just be gentle with it, but you're gonna to have to go ahead and get these clips to unclip. Once those are unclipped, you'll see how it leans forward. And now I'm gonna reach down with a long, fairly large flat screwdriver and push. There's four releases along the bottom. I'm gonna push those releases that are gonna pop this whole assembly out. Now watch out, depending on the model of truck, if you have cameras and you have washers and accessories on the front, this is where having this hood latch removed is helpful. It allows you to reach in and unhook the wiring that might be attached there. So don't just yank this thing off because you'll pull the wires off. Now the grill's off, a couple things we're gonna have to do is pull the horn assembly out of here. So you just disconnect this wire. There's a bolt on the backside to take the bolt off and lift the horn assembly up and just set this aside. We're gonna need to relocate it somewhere under the hood so that you still have functioning horns, but we're gonna use this real estate for the back of the light cannons. The next thing we're gonna have to do on some models of trucks and with some grills, this center support, this is designed to hold the big Ford emblem in the front of that plastic grill. Because we're using an aluminum grill, this is no longer needed and it doesn't actually touch where our fixtures go. So on some models of cab and some models of grill, you'll need to trim this section and pull the center piece out of it. Um, if you're not sure which model applies to you, then just give us a call and we'll walk you through whether or not you need to trim it. But either way, what you're gonna wanna do is disconnect these little uh, fir trees, use your body trim tool, Pull the fir trees out of here. And once these are clear, then we can go ahead and trim. We're gonna trim it right here, right here, right here, and right here, so we can pull that section out of the way. The easiest way to trim this front center pillar out is just gonna be to use a little pneumatic reciprocating saw, but safety first, make sure you wear glasses as well. So when you're getting in here to cut this thing out, you wanna just make sure that all your wiring for your camera and your washer assembly is out of the way so you don't cut anything behind it. And use the shortest blade possible on the reciprocating saw so you don't end up hitting the air conditioning condenser behind it. So all you're gonna do, line it up and run it right through the front. All right, got it clear. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and put the hood latch assembly back up and pull the rest of these hoses and cables back down so that they're where they belong. So there's your washer harness. And this here is your video camera feed harness. Once those are out of the way, then you can pull this latch assembly up. We're gonna go ahead and get it started back in place because we're no longer gonna need to be working in this area. All right, so I just finished building this harness and this is gonna allow me to hook it directly to the up there switches and then run it down along, catch a ground at the battery and then push it through here and pull it out in the middle. But the way this harness is set up, and this will be an accessory kit you can buy from us in addition to the grill. You just wanna have something that's bolt on. But this will be wired to the back of the grill kit and we'll go ahead and move this over to the bench and install the harness on the grill kit and then we can install the whole thing, fish it up and attach it. But it'll be important to get it hooked to your lights and everything at this stage versus when you're on the truck trying to work you know, behind between the condensers. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and install the cannons in the back of the grill and then get the wiring harness laid out. This is pretty straightforward. The way the harness attaches is each of the four warning lights gets attached to the bundle of four wires. And then the cannon has four of these Deutsch connectors. They just get plugged into the back. So next up, we're gonna grab the cannons, bolt them on and go from there.
After you get the wiring harness on the new grill, if you take the old grill and lay it on something that's not gonna scratch the finish, you'll need to pop the washer assembly out and pull the camera, that's the forward facing camera out if your truck was equipped with it from the factory. But something to note, when you're unscrewing this thing, the washer assembly is spring loaded. So when you get these two little T25 screws out of there, just pull gingerly out on this piece and slide it over it, and you can just pick the camera right up from the back. All right, so once you get the camera off of the factory grill, you'll wanna go ahead and run the top of it, which side the top of the camera is. And make sure that when you're installing it, you're aligning it so that the cable exits to the right of the grill as you're looking at it from the back. But anyway, pull this little piece off of here. This is where the camera's gonna mount. Set the camera aside and just take this bottom nut off of here and that's gonna open it up so you can slide the camera in there. You may not even have to get it all the way off. We're just gonna back it off so we can slide it down in there. Once that's clear, take the camera, orient it just like this, press it through that hole so just the camera's sticking through. We're gonna tighten this thing back down and then we're gonna drop it back in place on the grill. Depending on the year model and the way you have this thing configured, you may have to relocate the horn. If you do, there's a really cool spot where you can put it right up here. Just take the horn, line it up just like this, and all we're gonna have to do is drill a little pilot hole and bolt it right on using the existing hole that's in the bracket. So check this thing out and we'll go from there. The next step in the assembly is gonna be moving the clips off of this grill, so the four big clips, and then these little guys as well, over to the new grill. Now, it's super important to remember which side of this clip is the top as it relates to the grill, and then also install it the same way. If you install them upside down, you'll never be able to get the grill back off because you gotta be able to push down to release it. So look at these things, take a Sharpie and mark them, but don't forget, and then pop them off of here, and we're gonna move them over to the new grill. The last step before we install is gonna to be to pull the screws out of the center part where the headlight mounts to the truck. This is gonna be the screw that fastens that grill to the cab. There's one and two. And now it's go time. We're gonna go ahead and set this thing up here. Now be super careful. You don't wanna scratch your factory bumper or scratch your headlights, but get this thing up close to the grill so that you can access all the bolts and hardware. We're gonna take this harness and we're gonna fish it up behind this transmission cooler or condenser over here and pop it out over behind the driver's side headlight. There it is right there. And just get it so that the slack's pulled out. You don't need it super tight. The next thing we're gonna do is hook up the factory camera. Here's that harness. So just snake this down here. Put it behind all of the wiring for the lighting system. You want this to be easily accessible if you've got to pull the grill back off in the future. All right, now that those are hooked, we're gonna go ahead and pull. This is the factory washer assembly that's used with the factory um, grill and camera system. You can just pull this out of the way. We're actually gonna fish it back up here and cap it off on the top side so this hose is no longer needed. So anyway, once that's set, we're gonna go ahead and line this thing up and this is where you wanna be really careful not to touch the headlights. But just line it up with the outer two bolts so that you can get those things in there. And then we're gonna start making adjustments. Outer left bolt, just finger tight is fine. And then outer right bolt. And once those are in there, we're basically set. From here, we'll be able to make the adjustments, get it leveled and fit, and then we'll be off of the wiring race. These screws here are designed to tension the whole grill assembly back around and fit it real clean to these headlight pockets. Now, you wanna get those things in there before you tighten everything down in the front of the grill, because we're gonna make final adjustments left, right, up, and down before this thing is totally lined up. The next step is gonna be snapping in all these bottom clips underneath and then getting this thing positioned so then once it's set, we can focus on the wiring and the performance aspects of it versus the physical and mechanics. Now on to the electrical. Now with this harness I built, it's gonna be pretty easy to take these four wires and hook them up to the upfitter switches. And it's kind of hard to see, but we'll flash an image up 
of where these upfitter wires are. But the way this thing works is basically on the Ford Super Duties, if you have the console mounted switches in the dash, they'll pop out down here and there's relay outputs. And so we'll cut the zip tie and pull that bundle up in a second. And then we'll be able to pick which relay outputs we want. Now on this harness, and this will be available as an accessory from us, or if you're building your own harness, then I just recommend you wire it this way. But basically you'll have the cannons in the middle that are your super tight spots. You'll have the cannons on the side that are your little bit wider spots. Then you'll have your warning lights, which are the red wire. And then the other wire is gonna be the warning light white cutout. So if you're building this as an NFPA truck or an ambulance where you have primary secondary mode and you have to cut off the white forward facing lights, when you energize this wire, that'll be where those lights get cut off. So typically if you were gonna wire this up, you'd hook this maybe to a park signal. Um, but in our truck, I'm just gonna do it manually to the switches. This will be super easy. Now that we have these wires up here, you can actually see there's a tag on this master wire and it says which relays we want. So the way we're gonna set it up is gonna be the spots are gonna be on relay one, the little bit wider spots are gonna be on relay two, the warning lights are gonna be on relay three, and then my white light cutout, I'm just gonna push all the way to the right and make it on the far relay. So if you look at this list, we're gonna find relay one is the brown with a green stripe. So find the wire that's brown with a green stripe. And that is this guy right here. We'll cut this off, solder our connection in for our spotlights. That's gonna be this red wire here, the heavy gauge red wire. Once that's done, we'll go through the rest of them and we'll be hooked up and ready for operation. Now, if you ever have to troubleshoot this thing, right down here is where the fuse panel is for all of the upfitter switches on the truck. So if you need to change the fuse, you need to tweak this thing, open this panel here. All right, the last step is gonna be hooking up the ground and then we can test it, close the hood and send her down the road. The installation is wrapped up and this thing is so sick. If you want to get more information about the FireTech grill kits for different model trucks and different applications, check us out online at highvizleds.com.